I'm Brittany Parks. I'm Jack Bingham. And I'm Stratton White. Here's the fast cast for today. Starting off, the votes are in for Columbia area city council races. Columbia City Council one seat with 54% of the vote. Tim James won the Casey City Council one seat with 74% of the vote. And finally, Hunter Sox won the Casey City Council three seat with 66% of the vote. Two races in Columbia are awaiting runoff elections after candidates were unable to secure over 50% of the vote. Daniel Rickenman and Tamika Isaac Devine will be on the ballot for the mayoral runoff. Aditi Bustles and Tyler Bailey will be on the ballot for the Columbia City Council at large runoff. Both elections take place on November 16th. The Virginia governor seat flipped to Republican last night. Glenn Youngkin beat Democrat Terry McAuliffe by 2% of the vote. Youngkin is the first Republican to win statewide office in Virginia since 2009. 25-year-old was killed in a shooting at an apartment complex close to williams Bryce Stadium. The investigation is open, but there is no perceived threat to the community. An art exhibit highlighting the work of homeless photographers in Columbia opens today. The Through Our Eyes project will be at the Kroger Center until December 19th. Admission is free. It's time for weather. If you're anything like me, you're probably going to need your jacket today. If you think today's temperatures are bad, let's take a look at the temperatures throughout the week. Tomorrow there will be a high of 49 and a low of 38 and it will be rainy. Friday it will be a high of 58 and a low of 38 and it will be partly cloudy. Saturday looks very similar with a high of 60 and a low of 40 and it will be partly cloudy. Sunday will be a high of 66 and a low of 40 and it will be sunny outside. Monday those temperatures are picking back up and there will be a high of 71 and a low of 43 and it will also be sunny outside. Back to you guys. Thanks, Brittany. Now in some other news, children ages 5 through 11 are able to get the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine starting today. Reactions among Columbia parents have been mixed. While some think that the kids are too young or against the vaccine in general, Emily Shear is relieved by the eligibility expansion. Excited that the vaccine was approved today for 5 to 11. I know that a lot of parents have been waiting a long time for this. North Central Elementary is combining three different elementary schools into one, and Principal Britt Gardner is optimistic about facing the challenges of mixing the schools. We focused on the opportunities instead of the differences. We focused on the possibilities instead of the, the changes or the challenges. All right, now it's time for a quick sports update. The first college football playoffs of the season were released Tuesday. The undefeated Georgia Bulldogs are on top with the Alabama Crimson Tide in second, the Michigan State Spartans in third, the Oregon Ducks in fourth, and the Ohio State Buckeyes in fifth. Notably missing from this list are the Cincinnati Bearcats, which have gone undefeated this season and are ranked sixth in college football playoffs rankings. They're ranked second in the AP football poll. The Atlanta Braves beat the Houston Astros 7-0 in the sixth game of the World Series to take home the World Series title. This is the first title the Atlanta Braves have taken home in 26 years. That's all for sports. That's all the time we have. Thanks so much for joining us. Bye.